Hi guys, um, HorrorGuy1234 um, coming at you with a toy review on the McFarlane Movie Maniac Series 6, I believe. Um, Warrior Alien. Alright, so here's the Warrior Alien out of the box, which I unfortunately don't have, but anyways. Um, the Warrior Alien does look good, I think. Uh, the nice brown texture in these uh, like leg designs, I really like those. Um, if my voice sounds a bit, uh, you know, uh, weird, that's because I it's very cold here. Um, but uh, let's go to, your, to the articulation. Um, the legs have a pin and socket joint so they can move in and out. However, um, my figure is really sucky because this one is really stiff with in and out and this one's like very loose. So that sucks. And there's a swivel in the feet. Um, there's a bend in the tail. Although at the end it really is just a piece of rubber. And the tail rotates. Um, the mid torso moves and I think it's a ball joint. No, it's a pin and socket. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, this thing right here um, is like a piece of rubber to hide the joint. I don't know if you can see that, but you, you kind of see the joint in there. I guess I did this to hide it. It really just sticks out and it's just ugly. Um, the shoulders uh, rotate 360, sort of. The elbows rotate and the wrists rotate. Um, the head's uh, also on a pin and socket, so it moves up and down 360. Well, it gets hindered, but. So that's actually quite a decent amount of articulation for a McFarlane figure. Um, one problem I have with this figure is uh, this particular arm. Now, um, if, I don't know if you can see this, but this arm is like stretched out, and this one is like not. It really gets hindered right there with the uh, with the hips, and I just can't pose it properly. But um, kind of an uh, interesting fact here. Um, this uh, sculpt, they reused it for the uh, Grid Alien, I believe, yeah, the Grid Alien, from uh, Alien vs. Predator uh, Series 1. And um, the same kind of sculpt they use for the 12 inch uh, figure, which I uh, recently reviewed. Um, uh, let's see what we have more. Um, for the accessories, this came actually with um, the that like McFarlane poster stands. Um, uh, it unfortunately didn't came with it because I got this with the um, another figure, which is the Predator, the Hunter, also from the same series, and I will be reviewing that one um, soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, but if any of you guys know where I can get some of these like stands, I I need free. Um, please tell me, like I really want those. Uh, I do have the posters, uh, but not around. Um, so is there anything more I need to say on this figure? Well. It's the only uh, resurrection figure, alien resurrection figure, that actually looks good, you know. There was the Kenner version, which sucked ass. And there was the Battle Damage Kenner version, which also sucked ass. And then the only we have is the McFarlane. And um, one kind of disappointing thing, there is no like inner jaw thing right there. Uh, there's a closed mouth, you can't open it or anything. But it does look, does look good. Um, yeah, this was kind of a short review. 
because there's nothing much to say on this figure. Um, do I recommend it? Yes, I do. Um, I pretty much want uh, like the alien of each movie. Now, all only thing I need is a, uh, a scorpion alien from Aliens and the classic alien, which I'll both hopefully be, will be getting. Um, so, um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this review. Subscribe, rate, comment, all the good stuff, and uh, goodbye.